Okay. Uh -huh. Puedes encontrar el camino. A ¿Qué? Casa. Ajá. ¿Qué? Mm, solamente, sí. ¿verdad? Sí. Teacher. Hello. Hello, hello. Uh, and the number. Uh, and when. And that's our, my little brother. Mm -hmm. We yeah. have a, a question. Yeah, tell me. ¿Cómo puedo decir? Teníamos una duda. We have, we, we, have, we have a doubt. We have a doubt, a doubt and doubt. Mm -hmm. between Kent and Kent. Okay. Lo, lo voy a decir en español. Lo que pasa es que no entendíamos como la, la segunda frase que dice... Now he knows what time to the watch TV. Ah. Now Eso he knows no what time to watch TV. Okay. My little brother. Ah. Ahí es quien. Ah, My okay. little brother can tell the time. Mi hermanito ya puede decir la hora. Esa es una primera oración, okay. ¿verdad? Luego okay. dice, now he knows what time to watch TV. Ahora ya sabe okay. a qué hora ver televisión. Okay. okay? Okay, perfect. Entonces estaba en lo correcto. Entonces. Yes, you were right. Okay. okay. Um, do you finish? Yes, we finish. Okay, excellent. I called you back yes. to the plenary yes. session to share your answers, okay? Okay. See you in a minute. Hello, welcome back. Who was the practice? Hola, hola. ¿Cómo estuvo la práctica? Bienvenido, bienvenidas. Excellent, teacher. Okay, I like to hear that. Okay, so let me go to the exercise. Uh, I would like that you can confirm if you can watch my screen. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, who wants to start with number one? Because of the time, I won't, I won't uh, write them because it takes a lot of time. So I will let Carla to tell us number one and then we will continue uh, voluntarily until complete the 15, right? So if you want to take note, that is going to be great. Okay, okay. tell me Carlita. I can't go to the work today because I am sick. Okay, very good. I can't go to work today because I'm sick. Very good. Thank you, Carla. Volunteer for number two? Me, teacher. Okay, please, Rocio. Can your uncle speak Spanish? Yes, he can. Excellent, very good. Volunteer for number three? Me, teacher. Okay, please, Julio. No, my friend can't drive but he can ride a bicycle. Excellent. So it means that the first is negative and the second is affirmative. And the second is affirmative. Excellent. Number four, volunteer for number four. Me. Okay, please. We, can, we can't go to the beach today because it's raining. Excellent. Thank you, Rene. Okay, number five. I would like to have a volunteer for number five. Yes, teacher. Okay, Jennifer, please go ahead. Can they come with us to the store? No, they can't. Okay, thank you. Volunteer for number six. May I, teacher? Yes, please, of course. Okay, Dennis can play the piano. She knows how to play it. Okay, um, Dennis. Can, right? This is affirmative. affirmative. Yes, affirmative. excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Number seven, volunteer for number seven. Let's see, let's see. Me, teacher. Okay, please. I already finished my work, so I can go home now. Excellent. So it's an affirmative, right? Okay, number eight, volunteer for, please. Me, teacher. Yeah, go ahead, please. Excuse me, where can I buy a bus ticket? Excellent. It's, an, it's a question in this case, right? Okay, yeah. volunteer for number nine. Me, teacher. Okay, please can go ahead. Can you help me with my homework? 
Yes, that's a question. It's asking for support, right? Asking for help. Uh, number 10, thank you. A uh, number 10 volunteer. May I? Yes, please, Emperatriz. Okay. Uh, penguins cannot fly, but they can swim very well. Excellent. Penguin, penguins. It's like a name. Okay, penguins. Penguin. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> very good. Number 11, volunteer. And me? Yes, please. I am sorry, but I can't believe what I said is not telling the truth. Telling the truth, right. right. I can, es como una expresión de indignación, ¿verdad? Entonces, I'm sorry, but I can't believe what he said. Es como, no puedo creer lo que dice, ¿verdad? Así como bien indignada. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't believe what he said. He's not telling the truth. No está diciendo la verdad. Okay, very good. Thank you. Number 12. Let's see, let's see. May okay. I, teacher? Yes, please. <laughs> Henry, okay. Henry can, meet, can meet us tomorrow at 3 o'clock. We'll meet him in the library. Excellent. Number 13. Let's see from the Me? people. Yes, okay. Go ahead. Okay. My little brother can't desert time. Now he knows what, what time to watch TV. Excellent. Very good. Okay, 14. Volunteer for number 14. Me. Please, go ahead. Can you see that bird? No, I can't. What is it? Yes, thank you. So the first is a question, the second is a negative one. And the last one, number 15. Me? Yeah, please. Do you think you can find your way home? Okay, fine. Do you think you can find your way home? Fine. You're yes. Fine. Yes. Thank you. It's like I, I want to make sure that you know how to get there, right? Okay, very good. So, uh, because of the time we are going to advance with the next model, I have this conversation, but I am afraid that you have to, to, to work on it later at home uh, because I need to continue with shoot. Should, um, so let me expand the view, excuse me. Yeah. Okay, so should, um, we, we use should in order to give advice or suggestion. Uh, for example, your hair is too long. You should get a, ha a, get a haircut. Uh, or when there is a situation likely in the present, Mary should be at home now. Mary should be at home now. Give her a call. Likely in a future, like a prediction. They should win tonight. They are better team. They are a better team. Should plus have plus past participle. Uh, for example, the subject didn't fulfill their obligation in the past or didn't act responsibly. You should gave, you should have given your boss the report the report yesterday when he asked it when he asked for, for it. You should have given, vea, debiste haberle dado, you should have given your boss the report. Debiste haberle dado el reporte a tu jefe. Yesterday, when, when he asked for it. Ayer, cuando él te lo pidió, ¿verdad? Eh, so this is a, no, a new tense. Este es un nuevo tiempo que lo vamos a estudiar más adelante, el, el pasado participio, ¿verdad? Should plus be plus verb with ing. Uh, in this case, the meaning is the subject is not fulfilling their obligation now or it is not acting, acting sensibly. You should be wearing your seatbelt. You should be studying for the test right now. Uh, then you need to know that we have should versus ought to, and they are quite similar in meaning. They are like synonyms. For example, should can be replaced by ought to without a change in meaning. So they are basically equal. They are basically mean the same. You ought to study more. It equals to say, you should study more. Ought to sounds more formal than, formal than should. For example, if you are speaking in British English, you, 
you maybe will notice that they use ought to more than should. It, it is in the American English that you will find should more common than ought, than ought to, and it's uh, used less frequently. We use shouldn't to advise not to do something, to prevent you to do something, to recommend you to do not do something. For example, usually it's because it's bad or wrong. Example, you shouldn't throw your, your litter onto the street. He shouldn't play with those uh, wires if he doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, you shouldn't work so much. So for example, the doctor, when you, uh, when you are sick, the doctor said, you should rest. You shouldn't work so much. Okay, so. Uh, the structure in this case, uh, using should for giving advice, if you have to make a question, you add should at the beginning of the sentence plus, plus the subject plus the verb. Uh, should I, for example, if, if I want to ask for a suggestion to you or a recommendation, I say, uh, should I go to the party with you? Should I go to work tomorrow? Should I take the bus to go to work? So I'm asking my, myself and asking a recommendation. So the advice should be, I think you should go. I don't think you should go. I think you should. Look, we don't, you shouldn't with I think. Yeah? Eh, es la única cosa eh, en donde no podemos hacer, utilizar eh, en negativo, ¿verdad? Eh, y no, más bien no podemos hacer una contracción como esta. Eh, podemos decir, I don't think you should. Yo no creo que tú deberías hacer tal cosa. Eso es correcto. Pero no puedo decir, I think you shouldn't. ¿Verdad? Eh, no, no, no es gramaticalmente correcto. ¿Verdad? So, we don't, you shouldn't with I think. Siempre que usted vaya a dar una recomendación y diga, yo creo que, I think you, eh, solo lo puede utilizar en affirmative. I think you should go. I think you should come. I think you should buy it. I think you should whatever, ¿verdad? But in affirmative. But if you're going to do like a, a negative, you have to say, I don't think. I don't think. Utilizamos el don't al inicio. I don't think you should. Y la acción, ¿verdad? No, no de esta manera. Should I buy the red shirt or the blue shirt? When we are in a store, in a department store, sometimes we go with some friends to look for some clothes and they, we ask, should I buy the red shirt or the blue shirt? And someone tell us, I think you should buy the red one. One can be used to avoid repetition of the word shirt. I think you should buy the red shirt because it is nicer than the blue one. So you are comparing and you are giving the reason why you recommend that the person should buy the red shirt instead of the blue one. So a comparative can be used to give a reason for your advice, for example. Look, here we have the formula, right? We have the subject, you. We have the model, in this case, should plus the verb, in this case, exercise, plus the complement. You should exercise every day. Negative form. He should not or he shouldn't drink much soda, right? I can do this and even I can, I can contract. The only uh, way where I cannot do it is when I use the word I think. In that case, you cannot do it. But in this case, yes, you can do it he should not drink much soda. Or you can contract and say, he shouldn't drink much soda. Should I eat junk food? Junk food is like fast food, like trash food. So that's junk food. So how is the structure here? In here, you can do always uh, affirmatives, negatives, questions, and yes, no short answers. For example, I should eat you should eat, he should eat, she should eat, it should eat, we should eat, they should eat. And you can do the negatives. I shouldn't eat, you shouldn't eat, he, she, it, shouldn't eat, 
we shouldn't eat, they shouldn't eat. And when you have to make a question, you move the modal at the beginning of the sentence and then you say, should I eat? Should you eat? Should he, she eat, eat? Should we eat? Should they eat? And you can answer with a short answer, yes, I should, or yes, you should, or no, you shouldn't. No, he, she, it, shouldn't, and so on. Again, I have here another exercise for you. So I will take a picture of this and I will send it to you. And we are going to work in the last 10 minutes we have with this exercise. Because I want you to know how to use it in a proper way. So it's basically similar to the uh, previous exercise we did. So this time we are going to work with should instead of um, can, but it's similar. Okay, do you have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas hasta aquí? No, teacher. No. Okay, perfect. So I'll send you the invitation again. Maybe you will be in the same groups, maybe. Uh, so let me open them. Please try to join when you receive the invitation. So I'm sending it now. Okay. Um, number one. Okay. Okay. If if you if you want, uh, I I okay. start. Me. Teacher, is the same answer, the same questions? Teacher, I can hear you. I can hear you. Sorry, my dears, creo que me equivoqué a la hora de mandarles el, el ahorita voy. Okay. Déjenme ver. Permítanme. Ahorita se, los, ahorita se los rectifico y se los mando. Solo me voy a salir un ratito del grupo de ustedes. Ok. okay. See you. See you.
Hello, hello, welcome back. Hola, hola. Hello. Hola, chicos. Mira, fíjense que by mistake les envié el mismo. Eh, en realidad es el otro, el que les acabo de enviar, pero por razones de tiempo lo vamos a resolver aquí juntos porque ya no nos da para trabajarlo en el breakout room. Así que, sorry, eh, I would like to start. Vamos a comenzar en honor al tiempo. Eh, this is the right one. Este es el correcto, ¿verdad? We have eh, 16, 16 difficulties. And in this case, what do we have to do is um, to answer properly with should, shouldn't, eh, and depending on, on the, the situation, right? For example, number one, Thomas wants to travel to Europe next summer, right? He, his money. Entonces, ¿cuál debería ser la correcta? Should save, shouldn't save, or should saves? Shouldn't save. Shouldn't, negativo. Yes. Or should should save. Should save. He said, Thomas wants to travel to Europe next summer. He, his money. Should, 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 should save, ¿verdad? Should save. Should save, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a, voy a tratar de eh, insertar la respuesta. Solo déjenme un segundito. Vamos a ver si podemos usar un, 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 un Word Art para hacer esto. Ajá, ¿por qué razón? Porque estamos sugiriéndole, ¿verdad? Que si, si se quiere ir de vacaciones, entonces que ahorre, ¿verdad? Should save, debería ahorrar. So let me do this way. So just let me hide here. Tratar de hacerlo in this way in order that you can watch it better. Okay, perfect. Should say, vean, ¿por qué razón? Y aquí quiero detenerme un poquito. ¿Por qué no, de, no es should say? Porque ya dijimos, ¿verdad? Que cuando estamos utilizando el modal, entonces ahí no aplicamos la regla de la tercera persona singular en el presente simple, ¿verdad? Que es agregarle una letra S eh, para el correcto spelling del verbo. En este caso, porque tenemos un auxiliar, no aplica. Ok, number two. Should, she, should he go to school today? Es una pregunta. Should he go to school today? Yes, he should go. Should he go. He should go. Letter B, right? He should go. ¿Ok? ¿Verdad? Entonces ya, ya sabemos que no vamos a decir should go, sino que es should go. Ok, very good. Number three. Should I fix the sink? No, you? Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Pero, pero ¿cuál? Shouldn't, shouldn't fix? Shouldn't fixing o shouldn't to fix? Shouldn't fix, ¿verdad? Shouldn't fix. Porque en este caso no utilizamos el tú, ¿verdad? Y tampoco utilizamos el ing, sino que nada más la base form del verbo. Shouldn't fix. Very good. Excellent. So, let's see. Number four. Oh, no. I have a really big problem. What should I do? What should I do? I have... ¿Qué debería hacer? Me estoy preguntando a mí misma, ¿verdad? What should I do? Como ya tengo el what acá, entonces la respuesta me queda, should I do? What should I do? Eh, no es I should do, sino que what should I do en, en forma de pregunta, ¿verdad? Ok, let's see. Um, number four, number five, excuse me. When you have a cold, a cold, excuse me, you... Lots of water and get lots of rest. And get lots of rest. I should drink, should drinking, should drink. Mm -hmm. Should drink. Should drink, ¿verdad? Should drink, lo que nos dice el doctor. You should drink uh, lots of water and get lots of rest. Rest. Okay, very good. Number six. Uh, it says, Meet, meet you at, at the store at six o'clock. Should when I, when should I, I should when. Si es una pregunta, ¿cómo debería comenzar? Letter A. Letter B. 
Letter B, ¿verdad? Letter B. ¿Por qué razón? Sí. Porque es una eh, info, eh, information question o WH question, ¿verdad? When should I, when should I meet you at the store? ¿Cuándo debería verte en la tienda? ¿Verdad? Okay. At six o'clock. La respuesta es at six o'clock. Excuse me que no se queda recto esto. Sí se va a quedar. Because of the time. Ok, number nine. Oh, dice no. My books over there on the desk. Es la respuesta. Ah, yo hablo del classroom. Hello. Hello, hello. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la number nine? Ajá. Dice, where, where should I put, uh, where should I put my, my books? ¿A dónde habré puesto mis libros, verdad? Over there, on the desk. Ahí, por ahí, verdad, sobre el escritorio. Ok, very good. Number 10. Uh, you, the truth, because telling a lie can bring you a lot of trouble. You should tell. Ajá. Uh -huh. You should tell you should the tell. truth. You should tell the B. truth. Eh, Never eight. De, debes decir la verdad. Deberías decir la verdad. So you should tell the truth because telling a lie, lo opuesto, ¿verdad? Decir una mentira te puede traer muchos problemas. Entonces, letter A. You should tell the truth. ¿Verdad? No, el, no vayan a confundirse y poner you should, should to tell porque ya dijimos que no lleva to, ¿verdad? Ok, number 11. ¿Cómo nos quedaría number 11? Oops, excuse me. Ajá. Tienes algunos resultados. Number 11. Oh, how are you? Permítanme que se me movió esta cosita por estar haciendo el arte. Let's see. Solo que tengo bastante interferencia. Ok, I want to become rich and famous. Ajá, uh -huh. I want to become rich and famous. What should I do? How I should do? Or what should I do? What should I do? Uh -huh. what, should I do? what I should do? What should I do? What should I do? Ok, letter C, letter C, right? Letter C. Ok, what should I do? ¿Qué debería hacer, verdad? Si me quiero ver, volver rico y famoso. Ok, very good. Number uh, 12. Uh, always look both ways before you cross the street. When, when, you, when we give advice to our children, cuando le damos un consejo a nuestros niños, ¿verdad? De cómo cruzarse la calle, ¿qué les decimos? You should, you should. You should. You should always. Ajá, uh -huh. you should always. Look both ways before you cross yes. the street. Yes, that's right. Okay. Uh, number 13. I think. You see. You see. No, I think. Number. You see. I think. You see a doctor. You should see a doctor. Very good. Miren, eso se lo voy a mandar. Se los prometo que lo vamos a arreglar porque está bien feo. Se lo voy a circular mejor. Porque eso se mueve mucho. <laughs> ok, number 13. I think you should see a doctor. Esperen, es que ya me agarró el otro cuadro, entonces por eso se está moviendo mucho. Ok, you should see a doctor. Ok, number 14. I eat that candy. ¿Qué me estoy preguntando a mí misma? I should. Ajá. Should I? Es como, ay, quiero y no quiero, ¿verdad? Quiero, pero no debo. Entonces es como, should I? Um, should I? Keep, should I? ¿verdad? Should I eat that candy? No, you. No, you shouldn't. shouldn't. Entonces es should, shouldn't, ¿verdad? Sería esta, la última. Ok, very good. Excellent. Thank you very much, my dears. I'll send you this material. Ok. Um, I, I'm going to fix it. Lo voy a arreglar mejor con círculos para que sea más, más fácil y no se nos pierdan las imágenes. So, in this extra material, you will receive the, the next part of the exercise. So, there are four missing. 
van a recibir cuatro más que nos hicieron falta por el tiempo. And then you have here a conversation. Aquí tenemos una conversación, ¿verdad? Eh, you can practice with this conversation eh, using should have eh, plus past participle to give opinions or suggestions about actions in the past. Eh, and then you have the other conversation with can. That is an additional eh, conversation you can practice. Do you have questions so far? ¿Tenemos preguntas hasta aquí? Vamos yes, a seguir teacher. trabajando. Adelante. Sí, sí. Eh, with, eh, with all the models eh, in any, in the third person, are we going to, to use the letter S, the final? In all the models, we don't use the letter S for the third person singular. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Make you. sure that you don't have to, to add an S uh, because precisely because you're using a model, right? A model auxiliary or yes, model okay. verbs or model auxiliaries. Okay, very good. Okay, I wish you the best. I will fix this material and I will send it to you through the drive, right? So I hope to see you tomorrow in order to conclude our week. Remember that only this week we are from Tuesday to Friday. Next week is vacation, so you have to enjoy it. But please come tomorrow to class in order that we can agree what, uh, uh, how we can advance in the platform, uh, right? In order to be on time uh, with all the, the material we have to work. Okay? So if, you're, you. if you don't okay. have questions, uh, thank you very much for coming to class. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay, good night. Okay, bye bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.